what's really interesting is a half teaspoon, the toxicity level in a half teaspoon. Because if you look at that graphic over there, um, a 20 pound child ingesting that entire container of bleach is not lethal. But a half teaspoon of this flavored, candy, um, scented, and decorated bottle, a half teaspoon is lethal to that same child. And so it's really important for us to keep in mind um, what we're talking about here, because as this becomes more and more popular, uh, we're going to see more and more incidences if we don't do something about it. So with that, um, I'd like to turn it over to Dr. Amy Dival um, to talk as a pediatrician about some of the things that um, she's seeing. Good morning. My name is Amy Dimel. I'm a pediatrician with Pediatric Associates in Columbus. Um, we've already heard the use of the electronic cigarettes and liquid nicotine is rapidly increasing, and so is the rate of children being exposed in, their, in the safety of their own homes. Children, especially those under the age of five, are at a major risk of injury and death from poisonings. A lot of this is because of their developmental stage. They're curious by nature. They tend to be in places they shouldn't be. They tend to want to explore the world around them. Um, this and the fact that they're always on the move and into everything, um, their increased ability to move, crawl, reach, climb, and their inability to recognize potential dangers. They're attracted to bright colors. They're attracted to the packaging. These issues make this a recipe for disaster. The small amount of nicotine that is needed to be ingested or absorbed onto their skin and the illness it can cause, they've already mentioned racing heartbeat, nausea, vomiting, seizures, even death, within a short time frame and the fact that children could die is frightening. Um, we did see this episode in New York, and we certainly don't want to see it here in Ohio. In my practice, I counsel parents about keeping harmful substances out of the hands of their children. Most parents are aware to keep cleaning products and laundry detergent and other products out of their children's reach and make efforts to lock these products up. But because of the general lack of knowledge parents have, this is family in Cincinnati and the one in New York of <coughs> teachers, um, this is just a perfect storm. Um, the the liquid nicotine coming in these small, brightly colored packages and the flavors like cotton candy and chocolate and this enticement combined with the likelihood that these products are often left in forgotten places. I've seen them in parents' purses when they come in for checkups. I know that siblings and older teenagers are using these. They're often left in backpacks. And sadly, they're even left on tables and in places around the house. So with these unacceptable risk factors and the general nature of these young children that we're obliged to protect, it is an unacceptable risk for Ohio's children for these products not to be in childproof packaging. 